Right you guys, got another video here for you. In this one we're going to be looking at a simple way to set up our Windows 10 laptop as a Wi-Fi hotspot. It's pretty easy to do. Now once we've got this set up we will be able to connect to this via, via mobile phones or tablets or anything like that. So let's get started. So first off uh, we are going to be using the command prompt here to do all our um, setting up. We don't need any software or anything like that for this type of job. Uh, there is software available if you wish to use it but it's uh, easy enough just to set it up uh, with command prompt so we're just going to open up command prompt here by typing cmd then go up to where it says command prompt and then we need to right click on this and run it as an administrator you'll have to excuse me because I'm using the sensi pad here so once we've got this open what we're going to need to do is put in uh, a few commands here now first off we need to find out whether our laptop uh, supports the virtual hotspot feature uh, sometimes it does some laptops do some laptops don't most of the modern laptops do so we're going to type in um, sh w lan and then show drivers let's try and go as slow as possible so you can see and then we're going to hit this and what this is going to do is tell us whether our computer supports it and you can see here hosted network support yes so it does uh, support that okay so what we're going to do next is type in our uh, command to create our hosted network so what we're going to do here is net sh w lan and then set and then hosted network all one word there like that and then space mode and then equals and then we want to put in allow and then space SSID and then equals and this is going to be our SSD um, discovery name what you want to call it so we're just going to call ours uh, say Brightech so I can see it and then space and then we need to put in key and then equals and then whatever the key password key we want to use for that network so we're just going to use uh, say for instance uh, my password something like that you can use a really strong password I'd advise you to do that and then we're going to push enter and as you can see now it says the hosted network mode has been set to allow and now we've created the SSID and the user key phrase uh, password phrase and this is going to be our security so make sure these settings are very secure so no one else can uh, hook onto it okay so now we've created our network we need to start that uh, service up so what we're going to do here is type in here net sh wlan and then start and then hosted network just like that and then we're going to push enter and this will say that the hosted network is now started what we want to do is now show that so what we're going to do is quickly type in another command so we're going to do net sh wlan and I will put all these commands in for you so you can just um, copy and paste them straight in hosted uh, network and this is going to display our hosted network and you can see here you can see it says mode allowed the SSID name is Brightech and the maximum number of clients is 100 and it's all been set up right and it's now been started and there is the uh, BSSID and the radio type and everything else so it's giving you all the information as you can see right there so what we want to do now is we're gonna quickly take a look here so we're gonna just drop that down for a second so we want to come down to where it says search the web and we want to put in there uh, the next command we want to open up network and share in center so we're going to do ncpa and then dot cpl and uh, what we're going to do you can see here view network connections we're going to click on this and uh, this is going to open up our next network connections um, panel and inside here you can see we now have our local area connection which is uh, Brightech and we've uh, hosted this ourselves. you can see this is our hosted virtual network adapter that we've created 
and you can see I'm running on a wireless connection at the moment via this laptop now if you are running via uh, an Ethernet then you will need to change these settings so if you're doing this through an Ethernet connection then you will need to change this but we're just going to change this setting on here on our main Wi-Fi connection okay that's important so we're going to right click on this and go to properties here and we want to go to where it says sharing and on the uh, sharing tab here you can see allow other network users to connect through this computer's internet connection we want to put a tick in there okay and uh, we can remove this as well allow other network users to control or disable the shared internet connection we can take that out if we wish and also you can see here where it says select a private network connection we need to change this to our local area connection for this is the same as the one we've created here and once we've done that we can now click OK and we should be OK to go now what I'm going to do now is show you how to connect to that via um, a, a tablet or a phone and I'll show you how to do that right this second okay so now we've seen that all working so what we want to do now is if we want to stop this service what we need to do is go back to our command prompt I've already got mine still open and I'll quickly uh, just put the command in to stop that uh, service there so what we're going to do is type in stop hosted network just like so and then pushing enter and the hosted network has stopped so that's basically how you can set up your own Wi-Fi hotspot in Windows 10 on your laptop hope this one helps you out guys my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you enjoy these videos guys then hit that like button also hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date when I upload new videos if you've got any problems with computers you can always head over to the forums and post your video requests or problems with computers on there and we'll help you out over there or if you haven't joined my Facebook fan page then head over to Facebook uh, Bright Tech Computers over there and give us a little like over there it doesn't cost you anything so thanks again for watching guys bye for now